Hello, my name is Daniel Janneberg and I am the Creative Manager at Vertical Measures. Today I'm going to explain how to put an infographic in your blog post. The first thing you have to realize is that it's not that difficult to do. And if you pay attention to three things, search, social, and adding a call to action, then you will increase your level of success from the post. Let's first start with the search aspect of your blog post. It's important to have an optimized H1 title at the top, then follow it up with body copy that also uses optimized keywords and really introduces the infographic. Also be sure to optimize your graphic's file name and alt image tag. Lastly, below the graphic, have a written out version of the infographic statistics and information to further help with your page's SEO value. Now let's talk about making your post ready for social sharing. At the very top of the page and just below the graphic, include social sharing buttons so people will have plenty of options to share the graphic. You can also add social sharing buttons to any of the statistics you wrote out below the graphic. That can help bring more awareness to the post, but also be sure to include the embed code immediately after the infographic. That will allow people to post a graphic on their site and create more backlinks for your site. Lastly, let's talk about CTAs or call to actions. It's important to keep people on your site and you can do that at the bottom of your post by placing a call to action. Just be aware of where your graphic is in your customer's journey and supply a call to action that takes them further into your funnel. You can do that by recommending a related piece of content or downloading a gated piece of content or even have them sign up for your newsletter. There really are several options. It may sound like a lot, but it really is simple. And by doing all these things, you're making sure your post is ready for search, ready to be shared, and you're keeping people on your site by continuing their journey through your conversion funnel. Thank you for watching, and we hope that you tune in for next time with our next VMX video.